The CW has been making a lot of waves in the last few days, not the least of which is that they have been renewing a lot of shows and making sure fans know that they can expect big things from what's to come. This including Legacies, the show that continued the Vampire Diaries universe in its own way. Fans are just now enjoying Season 3, but the CW has let the fans know that it won't be the last. Season 4 is indeed on the way, and as a result, there's a lot to wonder about and expect. So allow us to show you 6 things to expect from Legacies Season 4. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. The Renewal Let's start this off by talking about the renewal itself, shall we? In a press release, the CW revealed that the current series being ordered for the 2021-2022 season included a second season of Walker, which recently scored the CW's most-watched series premiere in five years, as well as All-American Season 4, Batwoman Season 3, Charmed Season 4, DC's Legend of Tomorrow Season 7, Dynasty Season 5, The Flash Season 8, In the Dark Season 4, Legacy Season 4, Nancy Drew Season 3, Riverdale Season 6, and Roswell, New Mexico Season 4. Specific premiere dates for each series will be announced at a later time. Chairman and CEO of the CW Network, Mark Pedowitz, noted that these early renewals will give shows the chance to prep early, especially as most started later than normal this season due to the coronavirus pandemic. Though we're just a few weeks into the new season, we wanted to get a strategic head start on next season with these early renewals, which allows our production teams to start laying out story arcs and hiring staff, and at the same time, continues to provide us with a strong, stable schedule to build on for the next season," he said in the press release. We'll go into more detail on this later, but this was a huge move for the CW considering that many of these shows either just started airing their most recent seasons or having gone and done their premieres yet. They have faith that the fans will return and are desperate for more content from these shows and universes, and that's no doubt why they want to renew them so quickly. And this goes especially for Legacies fans who have been waiting a long time for Season 3 to come, and it's only just now begun. Number 5. The Plot Since Season 3 just started airing, it's a little tough to say just what next season will be about, but there's no doubt that we'll continue to follow the students at Salvatore School as they continue to come to terms with their powers and abilities while taking down all the crazy monsters that seem to keep coming to town. Who knows, there might even be some more familiar faces from the Vampire Diaries and the originals coming back for a special trip to Mystic Falls. Though this sounds like a cop-out on what to expect for Season 4, it's honestly something that can't be ignored because, as the CW loves to do for their shows, they rarely keep things stagnant. And with a show that prides itself on deep characters and stories like Legacies does, they can't go and reveal what'll happen in Season 4 just yet, because that would likely go and spoil what'll happen in Season 3. Again, these confirmations of renewals are very much a sign of faith and not meant to be a preview like most times networks renew shows. Call it an unintended side effect of the pandemic. Speculations are that the season, just like its predecessors, would have a gripping storyline. It would unravel new adventures. The series followed the story of Hope Mickelson, the daughter of Klaus Mickelson, and Haley Marshall. She is descended from some of the most powerful vampires and werewolves, and witch bloodlines. The series was released with 17-year-old Hope attending Salvatore's School for the Young and Gifted. The school proves to be a haven for the supernatural beings. It grooms young, gifted persons and helps them to control their abilities and impulses. The series focuses on the adventures of Hope and the way she makes use of her powers to tackle situations. Season 3 is showing that right now in new and exciting ways, and it would be unfair to think that Season 4 won't do the same. Number 4. The Release Due to the coronavirus pandemic, some television schedules have shifted from their original schedule. While Legacies has typically returned in October, Season 3 had to start airing in January due to filming delays. Depending on if there are any further delays, there's still a chance that Season 4 will go back to the show's regular release schedule and premiere in October 2021, or stick with a new one and come out in January 2022. Right now it's very much up in the air, as even though these shows are on the CW tend to film in Canada, they've been having their own issues with the pandemic and thus haven't been one to truly be excluded from the spike in cases. In fact, fellow CW show The Flash had to be delayed a bit because it had to repeatedly shut down production due to the corona-positive tests. No doubt, the CW renewed the various shows like Legacies 
to help ensure that they had a fall lineup. And they also no doubt wanted to get back into that fall rotation, if you will. Only time and the virus will tell if that's allowed to happen or if more problems are bound to occur. Number three, season three so far. The Legacy's season three premiere was shown a few weeks back and was never intended as a season opener, but it sure did work as one. Season two of the series, which centers on a boarding school for people with supernatural powers, ended early because of the coronavirus, and its final four episodes were pushed into the third season. Luckily, fans had left off with some pretty tantalizing cliffhangers. And this premiere gets right to some answers. When the Vampire Diaries spinoff picks up, Alaric, Matthew Davis, is still struggling to wake up Hope, Danielle Rose Russell, and Landon, Arya Shagasimi, while keeping the student body in the dark to avoid alarming them further. To lift their spirits and distract them, MG, Quincy Faust, takes the students on a field day, and Arik tries to get answers from the necromancer, Ben Garens, on why Landon remains dead. The reason is a classic Legacies twist. Landon is sacrificing himself for the greater good. When the necromancer tries to put Landon's soul back in his body, he refuses, knowing that if he's dead, Malivore won't have anyone to possess and the school will be safe. Of course, Raphael manages to convince him to come back. That hope remains in her magical coma is less compelling. She doesn't want to wake up in a world without Landon. Since she went into coma before Landon died, it's unclear how she even knows he's gone. But it's a CW drama, so you can figure out your own reason. Fast forward to episode 3, and the long-awaited musical episode arrived. Under the bright lights of the Salvatore School Auditorium, Josie, Caleb, Jed, and Lizzie, as Elena, Damon, Stefan, and Caroline, respectively, retold the story of the institution's founding, hitting several iconic beats from the Vampire Diaries in the process. Stefan and Elena's first meeting, Stefan and Damon's dramatic reunion, Elena's eternal back and forth between the brothers, the seemingly endless parade of doppelgangers, and Klaus's multi-figure donation to the school. Of course, no surprise was more, well, surprising, than the letter Lizzie received from Caroline, particularly because it was read in her voice by none other than Candace King, aka Carolyn Forbes, marking her first official appearance on Legacies. Number 2. The Cast Legacies has cast from The Vampire Diaries and the original. There is yet to be seen no official confirmation regarding the cast of the new season. Season 4 is likely to witness the return of Danielle Rose Russell. The other cast for the show would be Arya Shegasami, Kaylee Bryant, Jenny Boyd, Lizzie, Matt Davis, Quincy Faust, Chris Lee, Ben Lev, and Peyton Alex Smith. The earlier seasons showed cast from The Vampire Diaries and the originals. For the new season, Joseph Morgan has been confirmed for the role of Klaus Mikkelsen. So, while not a shock, you can expect characters from the other shows to appear in this one in new ways and unexpected ways like the one we just showed you with the musical episode. Number 1. The Expectations It might seem a little passé to honestly say that you just need to wait to see more of what you can expect from Legacy Season 4, but that's just the honest truth on the matter. Things still need to work themselves out in Season 3, and until then, things will just be a guessing game. But you can still watch Season 3 and guess what might come next. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Legacies, both Season 3 and the now-confirmed Season 4, and how things might play out? Do you think that the show will be able to maintain its quality going into Season 4? What do you hope to see from Season 3 that will lead to Season 4? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.